Again, Syracuse much more patient. Shot clock running down. Here's where Flynn's got to do something. Flynn leading in wild shot. Harris missed it. On a walk, they're keeping it alive. Harris finally got it, and he was fouled. That was big. 3% free throw shooter. Mike and Deb's two children. Debbie played basketball here at uh, Syracuse. And Mike, like uh, so many of us, that uh, came up announcing games for the student station WAER here in Syracuse. And this was the one you looked forward to the most, Syracuse and Georgetown. Right through the lane. Great shot by Chris Wright. Just with extension in English. And he's able to kiss that one off the glass. He's got 19. Devendorf spotting up. Canning a three. To give Syracuse credit, they could be baited into backing off a little bit, trying to conserve and eat up the clock, but they're going right at him. And Jackson fouls Summers. Summers, 71% free throw shooter. Georgetown third in the conference. This is Jim Beheim trying to get a little bit of rest for each of his big guys, knowing he may need them in about two minutes or so. Going small right now in Syracuse. Ten-point game inside of four minutes to play in the second half. Syracuse trying to get its 19th win. Georgetown looking to avoid its 10th loss, eighth in the Big East. Boyas with numbers after the miss. And Sack on five on two takes it himself, but he cuts the lead to eight. Flynn quickly ahead, and he was fouled by Wright. Middle league, and you hope for his sake that he does develop and, and has a long professional career. And more importantly, I think the development aspect would have gone a lot quicker had he stayed here for another year or two. 14 points for Flynn, and Syracuse's lead back to 10. The Orange led by 16 earlier this half. And Sapp has stepped up for Georgetown. Can't hit that one. Summers, though, with the rebound. And the strip by Syracuse. It'll stay Hoya basketball. Fade was getting the rebound and bringing it back down where Routens could get to it. Freeman drives the paint. Tried to hit Summers. Turnover. And Onowaku is fouled. The more you shoot, the better you feel when you sit on that line. I just wish more people would understand that free throw shooting is all about practice. Couldn't get the front end of the one and one. The foul was on Monroe, his third. Georgetown looking to push the tempo right. Good pass underneath. And Freeman will go to the line. It's down to that. It really hasn't yet for Syracuse. They really haven't lost games because of their poor free throw shooting. And Walker needing him on the boards on the defensive end. But want to keep him away from the ball on the offensive end. Because again, if he goes back, reverts back. He becomes almost an instant turnover if he's fouled. Georgetown gets it down to an eight-point deficit again. Every time the Hoyas do, either Flynn or Diedendorf makes a big shot. Well, it's up to Syracuse to shorten this game so that the free throw shooting doesn't become an issue. Flynn against Freeman. Timer at 10. Shorten the game by running the clock and scoring. Flynn gets Johnny Flynn. And you need both components. You got to run the clock, but you certainly have to score. Summers will let it go and can a three, and it's a seven point game. And Georgetown will trade that every day with two minutes left in the ball game. The question is, will they run out of time? They gotta make some stops. And Georgetown fighting for its NCAA tournament life with a four and seven conference record. And in his fourth career game, he's averaged 18 points a game. With uh, last year. Run missed the second one. Big possession here for Georgetown. Inside of two minutes to go, trailing by eight. Set for three. Spins out. And a foul called on the Hoyas. It's three of five today. He gets two here. Now he's thinking. Now he's thinking. During the course of the game. Oh, 
for two on that trip. Another opportunity for Georgetown to cut the lead to six, maybe five on this possession. And I think Jim Beheim has got to think about getting somebody in there, maybe Rick Jackson. And on Wapu's place. Freeman drives out to Summer straight on. It's a three, and it's a five-point game. And the Hoyas call their final timeout with 125 to go. And guess what? He might have done that a little bit earlier. And that way Georgetown might not have fouled. Jackson, a 53% foul shooter, which seems like a lot better than Onowaku, but still not very good at all. And only 44% in conference games. Syracuse, uh, Syracuse milking the clock here as we approach a minute to go in the second half. And this also tells you how much faith Jim Beheim has. They leave Jackson wide open underneath. Georgetown let him go for an easy one. Caught everybody by surprise. Including me. Why do you foul Andy Rowland? Yeah, he just fouled out of the game. That's Chris Joseph, who hasn't played all game, is out there for Syracuse, replacing Rottens, who fouled out. Sapp got them both. Back to a five-point Syracuse lead. Evendorf is an 80% free throw shooter. Georgetown does not want to foul him. And Sapp did. And Leno Moore, Dave Pash at the Carrier Dome for the 81st Syracuse-Georgetown meeting. And this guy you want to foul, 80% free throw shooter. Knocks him down without even drawing any iron. Back to a seven-point lead for Syracuse. It's up to Syracuse right now to be able to make Georgetown move the ball. But right there, two passes inside out. Wide open threes makes you wonder what were they thinking throughout most of the second half. And look and at the turnover. turn it over. Devendorf gave it away. Freeman the basket. It's a two-point game. Five straight points by the Hoyas to get within a deuce. And Eric Devendorf, as good a free throw shooter as he might be, is very prone to turn the ball over. And Sapp commits the foul in the backcourt on Flynn. They did lead. And Syracuse would need to have to push this out to a two-possession ball game. Flynn gets the friendly roll on the first. Averaging five turnovers over the last five games. Well, it's a four-point lead for Syracuse. Two-possession game. Out of timeouts. Georgetown with the ball. Wright will take it to the basket. And Monroe scores in the Syracuse foul. Trying to complete the three-point play. Fundamentals, Syracuse has got to block out. Harris is ready. Missed it. Ball bats up into the air. And a foul called on Syracuse. They're going to get Jackson for the foul. Or wait, now they're saying it's on Georgetown. Yep. Georgetown foul. Jackson, a 53% free throw shooter. Can't get the roll. So he's Jackson. Trying to push the lead to three. He does. Does Georgetown go for the quick two or a three here? Obviously, they're going for the three. Here's Wright to Sapp. 13 seconds left. Wright for three. Got it! And we're tied with 10.7 on the clock. Here's Flynn. Flynn across half court. Five seconds left. And Flynn turns it over. 